Hi guys, welcome back to Ustack Gaming. Um, sorry for the delay of the post installation video. So basically, this video is a tutorial to make sure that we can boot into Mac without we use our bootable USB anymore. Okay, because we need to replace the AFI folder. We need to basically move the AFI folder from this disk into our SSD or hard disk that we install the Mac, Mac OS. Okay, so basically let's get started. So first thing first, you guys need to download Clover configuration. I will uh, provide the link below. Okay, after you download, okay, just open the Clover config configurator. Okay, basically in this section, click mount EFI. Okay, and then this one, uh, it has listed two uh, EFI, for, uh, EFI drive. The first one is Kingston Data Traveler, is my bootable USB. And then the A data, this one is the SSD on my laptop. So basically, we need to mount both of it. Okay, write down your password. Okay, mount. Okay, for those who did not yet see in my previous video about how to create the bootable USB and also how to install Hackintosh into this laptop, feel free to click the link up, up here. Okay, up here. Okay, and then don't forget to subscribe to Stack Gaming for more video about Hackintosh and also some gaming stuff and also tech stuff. Okay, so after we have mount both of it, we need to open both of it. Okay, okay, make it side by side. Okay, this one that you see that have boot and clover, this one is from this bootable USB, and the one that have Microsoft is from uh, this laptop or our laptop. So. We need to copy both of boot and clover into the windows windows efi okay after successfully uh, copy it now we need to uh, basically uh, replace the microsoft efi so that we need we will directly boot into the clover so click on microsoft go to boot put mgfw.efi rename it just make it other name i put original okay so so i know that one is the original one okay next what we need to do is we go to uh we go to efi and then the boot that one is boot x64 okay i want to copy it first to make a one and then I will rename it into the Microsoft to the Microsoft wait, uh, wait I did it I will go to Microsoft boot and then I will paste it here okay and then we go to that boot, EFI. Okay. Yes, this one I have to. Okay, this one I will name I will rename it into boot mgfw.efi. Okay. Boot mgfw.efi. Okay. Boot mgfw.efi. Okay, now we have done basically to re we have replaced it now we should try it so now i will unmount this unmount the pen drive and then we will look whether it is working or not so we restart and then we will see whether it is boot into clover or not Alright, it is now boot into Clover. So, we try to boot back into our Mac OS, Hackintosh, to see whether it is fully work or not. And then now, uh, it is automatically boot into that, so that we don't need any more this drive to boot into Mac. Okay. We will check whether any, everything is working. Okay.
all right so basically everything is working so i think that's all from me for this video after this i will make a tutorial how to use this usb adapter which are dealing wa131 to use to connect internet without we need to change our wi-fi card so basically that's all from me don't forget to subscribe to start gaming like this video share with your friends and we until we meet in uh, in the next video stay tuned assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh